I did a post the other day about how saddles can't defy like the laws of physics and I had loads of comments on there about saddles that move forward so I've been at work all day excuse my sweaty attire and I thought I would come back quickly and make a very quick video about saddles that move forwards in case it helps someone so I fit a lot of saddles obviously and I see saddles that move forward quite a lot especially on certain types of horses and ponies and I can honestly say in all of the saddles that I see that move forward that saddle fit itself is probably to blame for about 10% of forward moving saddles. Now what other factors are there at play? Well there's a few different ones. There's your horse's conformation for example. Now imagine you've got a pony that's shaped a little bit like a wedge of cheese so we often see that in like the welsh b types where they've got these big bellies boing, big rib cages and then itty bitty shoulders so they go like a wedge of cheese wide here narrow here physics dictates that that saddle will move to the narrowest point of the horse so if your horse is really wide here and it goes really narrow here what's going to happen to your saddle the girth and everything is going to pull it forward into that narrowest point and sometimes especially on these little welsh b types with the big rib cage and the itty bitty shoulders sometimes that means your saddle ends up sitting right up like near their ears also confirmationally if your horse has got what's called a forward girth groove and we'll have a little look with the saddle on and have a look what i mean by that if your horse has got a forward girth groove eg you put your head up one second when you've got your saddle eg when you've got your saddle on the horse if the saddle straps hang down here but your horse has naturally got a really forward girth groove here that means so imagine he was like overweight for example or he'd been out of work for a while i mean he's not the most muscled horse because he's an old boy but imagine his belly dropped here and the narrowest point was right at the front here again the laws of physics your girth is going to go into that narrowest point and it's going to drag the saddle with it Sometimes horses, saddles only start slipping when they come back into work after some time off. And that can be because these muscles here on their tummy can get a bit saggy. Their backs can drop a little bit. And by their belly sagging, it can make that girth groove appear more forward for the girth. And the girth can get like sucked up into here. Equally, if a horse is ridiculously overweight, what's going to happen? You're going to have this happening at the same time as this happening. And what's going to happen a lot of times your saddle's going to want to go forward to that narrowest point because that is the laws of physics i don't know how much attention you paid in your physics classes i didn't pay a great deal of attention in my physics classes but i do know that the laws of physics are going to pull the saddle forward in that situation i'm just going to pop his saddle on i'm going to show you some other reasons why your saddle might move forward yeah. So on the subject of girth grooves, now Jude's got a bit of a forward girth groove, but not a hugely forward girth groove. But can you um, can you think of those horses that when you put your saddle on and you lift your flap up and you look at where your girth straps hang, and some saddles the girth straps hang like right back here. And then think if that same horse had a big hangy down belly and this bit here was much narrower, then that's going to get pulled forward into there. And then what's going to happen is it's going to pull the saddle forward. Do you Quite now Jude's, Jude's girth groove is a little bit forward of the girth line and he has a very slightly shaped girth for that reason but he's not particularly bad but some horses you get the, like a huge discrepancy between where, the, uh, between where the girth straps wants to sit now that sometimes is a saddle issue it's that your girth straps in the wrong place on your saddle but also it can be a horse issue it can be that your horse's belly is dropped down its girth groove is really forward and everything wants to shunt forward physics so when we put his girth on, you can see he's got a bit of a he's got a bit of a curve to his girth, which helps. Um, some horses need more curve, some horses need less curve. But if this girth was to pull forward, you can see how it would pull the saddle forward as well. It doesn't in his case, but that is can be what happens. Another thing that can happen is saddles can move forward because of the way the horse moves. So say for example, you've got a horse with loads of movement through here that kind of pings you forward, and you've got all of that propulsion from behind. Well, the energy kind of has to go somewhere. And whilst in theory, because we don't fit over the last rib, and in theory, the part of the spine that's here forwards moves less, there is still some impact on a horse that has a big, huge, whopping, great, powerful back end, that bedoings thing, everything forward. That propulsion and that energy and that movement can sometimes also edge saddles forward. Now, another thing can be your equipment that you use. Like how many of you use grass reins or balance support reins? If you think of the balance support reins there and the grass reins, they're basically something that attaches to the bridle of your horse and then onto the D-ring of your saddle. 
So if your horse puts its head down or snatches its reins forward, what happens is it pulls forward on the saddle. So I've seen loads, loads of kids on those little Welsh bee ponies that are shaped like a wedge of cheese, massive big round ribs, itty bitty shoulders, and then they've got the balance support reins on. So as soon as the pony puts its head down or forward, the saddle gets yoinked forward and the pony goes, whoa, brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. That's exactly the shape that I am. Everything wants to move forward anyway. So you put some balance support reins on or some grass reins on and what are you doing? You're just helping it move forward. So if your kid rides in balance support reins or grass reins and your saddle gets pulled forward by them, you need to kind of weigh up. They're good, they're really good things. They stop your kid from getting catapulted over the pony's head, priceless. But do they also pull the saddle forward? In which case, maybe you need to start thinking about a different solution, isn't it, Jude? Now, the other thing that we haven't discussed is the rider's input. So, think of all the people that you see that have started doing this weird riding, where they're leaning back. Have you seen this? Everyone's riding along like this, yeah? Yeehaw! Now, what's gonna happen is they're gonna hump the saddle forward. So you're leaning back, physics dictates, your force is going forwards, so what's going to happen is you're going to hump that saddle forwards. When you sit in your saddle, you should hang. Your legs should hang like an old fashioned clothes peg. Shoulder, hips, heel. You don't want your shoulder behind the vertical or your legs in front. You don't want to be riding like this because what are you going to do? A, you're going to put way too much pressure through the back of your saddle. But B, your force is going forwards and you're going to drive that saddle forward. On the, on the topic of humping, Pommel humping is a real, actual issue. You see people who like ride the saddle. They're literally humping away here. <laughs> I know, sorry, dude. And like, it can't be pleasant for the horse, can it? Being humped like this the whole time. Because what are you doing? You're creating a lot of movement. You're creating a lot of pressure at the front here. And you're driving the saddle forwards. Again, forwards. Not nice. This is another good demonstration now. So as Jude is pulling, albeit to eat food rather than run away from me, as he's pulling down, if I was to brace myself as he pulls forward, what happens is there's a forward force on me again. So if you've got a very strong horse and you lock your arms and your horse is pulling you forwards, what's going to happen is it's going to pull again. The energy in your body is going to be moving in a forwards direction. So again, that's physics. That's not a saddle fitting issue. And yes, there's loads and loads of things that we can do to the saddle to help it not move forward. There's straps that we can use, but ultimately what we're doing by doing that is we are pinning down the saddle. We're kind of clamping it onto the horse in order to stop it from moving. And do we want to do that? Do we want to clamp our saddle onto our beloved creatures to stop that forward movement? When actually there are loads of other things that we can do to stop that forward movement. We can look at their body shape. We can think, hang on, are they ridiculously overweight? Are they so fat that their belly sticks out here and the girth has no option but to move forward? We can look at them and think, are we in the right, are we in the right saddle for them? Are we riding them nicely? Are we humping the saddle? Are we riding like this, leaning back? Are we doing this leaning back behind the vertical? Have we got grass reins on our horse? Have we got balance support reins on our horse? Have we got the right girth on our horse? And yes, obviously speak to your saddle fitter if your saddle is moving forward. But on the whole, honestly, I think saddle fitting issues probably to make up 10% of saddles moving forward. Hey, handsome. Jude's like, this is boring. So there endeth the lecture. It's all about physics. Saddles moving forward can be a saddle fitting issue. It can be the tree's the wrong shape, it's too narrow, it's the wrong length, because a too long saddle, speaking of length, a saddle that's too long can get taken up by this movement, can be caught in the energy that moves here and shunted forward a bit. So yes, it can be a saddle fitting issue, but 90% of the time I think it's a horse and rider issue. So don't forget, no hump in your saddle. Here's a little PS because I've just recorded a video and realized I missed out a couple of important things. So confirmationally, we're talking about confirmation of horses that can make saddles move forward. One of the things I missed out, pigeons are having a party in our tree. One of the things I missed out was downhill horses. You know horses that are like a really bum high and they go downhill like a slide. What happens when you sit at the top of the slide? Whew, down you go, don't you? You don't go up the slide, you go down the slide. So a downhill horse tends to drive their saddles forward as well. 
again physics and the other thing was when we talked about accessories and things breastplate so sometimes a breastplate can pull the saddle forward if you imagine you've got a breastplate that sits over their shoulders and they're doing stuff that moves their shoulders their front legs sometimes that movement can pull on the breastplate which can pull the saddle forward i've probably missed loads of other things but tell me in the comments